Here we are with the uh, repaired Xbox mainboard. Uh, revision 1.2 or 1.3. I'll just show you the capacitors I did replace. So we had uh, 2.5 volt 1 farad. This fellow here. There are the old ones. Rubbish. And uh, so that was the one that had leaked. Now it's nice and new looking. We've got a 3.3 farad 10 volt over here. If we pan across to here, this one was also 3.3 10 volt. It came in a pack, they came in a multiples of five, pack of five. I didn't really have an option, so I ended up with five. I only needed two, and then I realized that these three capacitors here were uh, 6.8, 6.3 volt. So I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and replace them, because these are 3.3 farad, and they are 10 volt. So that's not too bad. It's pretty close to the original specs. Plus, they're not bad caps. These are all um, Panasonic, these ones. Um, so let's have a look. I didn't bother with any of these smaller ones. Probably could have replaced these, but I was only aiming to replace these ones here where the immediate damage was. The other ones I was going to leave, but you know, you have an extra three capacitors, you go ahead and you might as well replace them. And there we go. So three beautiful caps. That guy, this guy, that guy, and we've got a 25 volt uh, 22 microfarad right there up here we've got another one this guy here and a 100 microfarad he was a bit fatter than I expected not as much height but definitely makes up for it in girth uh, we also had a one casualty we lost uh, C7 G7 I don't know where it went but it's not on the board anymore <laughs> hopefully that is a very very minor I'll have a look at the points, but I'm pretty sure it will survive without it. Uh, fair bit of corrosion, hard to clean off. Just gonna have to leave it, hope for the best on these guys. On the other side of this fella though, the other side of the super cap, we've still got a bit of damage. I cleaned it up as best I could, but Unless I want to lose small caps off the board, that's as good as it's going to get. So there you have it. That's the, uh, those are the caps I replaced. So I'm going to go give it a fire up, see if it does anything. Must admit, I haven't actually turned it on at all, so it may not even work. But I guess that's half the fun in waiting. So we'll be back in a moment. Here we are back with Xbox and uh, we're going for the first power on just to see what happens. I'm hoping no flame and smokes, but I am hoping that it will also boot to something. We don't actually know what's on this Xbox, so it could just be the generic Xbox dashboard or it could be no Linux for all I know. Oh, power's good. Xbox. Hands ramping. All right. What am I staring at and how can I make it better? Whew, that fan is outputting a fair bit of air. Well, I'll be back once we have a game working. Well, the good news is, is that Burnout did work, Burnout Revenge, and I gave it a go, and let me just tell you, it was enjoyable. I loved it. Look at, look at this footage I captured in-game. Uh, I did actually lose all the video that I had of the game working, but screen caps will have to do. So I'll just change over and have a look at the other one. i got two screen caps, so looking pretty good. Lots of flames and fire, rating awesome. What more do I want? Nothing. That's perfect. So we'll be back with this one in a week or two. We're going to uh, do a T-SOP to SOP mod or whatever it is. 
RetroJunkie.net. Subscribe!